Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Aries. Aries, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my dearest Aries for their highest and greatest good. And just a friendly reminder, my lovely Aries, I am available for private reading. So if you're after one, I have those links down below in the description box. And if these, and if these messages do resonate, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Not sure if I just said that or repeated myself or not. All right. So we have the four of pentacles, lots of Capricorn energy coming through. Somebody seeing you as the 10 of pentacles. Their true intentions for you, we have the moon, Cancer, Pisces energy, and we have the Ace of Swords. Okay, you're going to get the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. This is someone who's been holding back from you, Aries. Um, this person might be a little bit pessimistic right now. They might have been being stubborn, but this person does have deep romantic feelings for you, and if they have been keeping secrets, they're about to tell you the truth. Yeah, we get the Eight of Wands energy in reverse. Some of you, this connection either came to a full stop or it was moving. It felt like it was moving in the right direction. Um, and I'm wondering if you're feeling like a little bit in protective mode here. Of course, it could be your person. The Four of Pentacles tells me, yeah, this could be both of you kind of holding back right now. Why do we have the Four of Pentacles here for my Aries? All right, the Two of Wands making a decision, looking at the past. And the Empress energy, Taurus and Libra energy. You know, Aries, I kind of feel this energy of somebody here wanting to make you their life partner, wanting something solid, stable, and secure with you. It's like they've made this decision. They're seeing you as their person, Empress energy. With the devil in reverse, this person might be pessimistic. They could also be shy. Get the two of cups in reverse making a decision and we get the six of pentacles energy in reverse. This person might have made a decision here in the past that made them feel disappointed or left out in the cold. Like maybe they didn't tell you the truth about how they were feeling. Maybe they didn't tell you what they really wanted out of this connection. I'm kind of feeling too with the eight of wands in reverse, this can be like needing to read between the lines of communication here. So maybe this person was like vague like, I feel like they need to open up to you more or they they feel they need to open up to you more or they're going to miss this opportunity. Some of you, this person may have been breadcrumbing you or like purposely kind of holding back because there was something they didn't want you to know or see is what I'm getting. It doesn't have to be a third party or anything like that. It could just be that they, you know, they're not where they want to be financially or, you know, there could be something that they're insecure about physically. Let's see, the 10 of pentacles. They see you as the best of the best. They do feel like there's unfinished business, but there's also diff, uh, distance between you and them. This person sees potential for something solid, stable, and secure. They're seeing you as the Alpha and the Omega Aries with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. This person, I'm wondering if they're like a little bit intimidated by you, Aries, at times. I do think this person feels you are their person, though. They have very deep romantic feelings for you, and they're going to come out and tell you that. Three of Pentacles. They might have been keeping something a secret. Yeah, this person was keeping secrets, though. It could be about some sort of third party, okay? It could be that they weren't completely broken up with somebody when you started talking or when you started going out. Yeah, because this person was definitely keeping secrets about, possibly, too, it could be financially, like they don't have as much as you do or they don't have as much as they kind of look like they do. All right, we have the King of Cups energy in reverse. It might be disappointing what they tell you, but we see Hierophant energy, Taurus energy coming through really strong. So I kind of feel like Aries, for a lot of you, it's not going to be something that you consider a deal breaker. You know, for some of you, you might find out that when you first started talking to this person, they weren't completely done with a connection, or maybe they were talking to other people, but I don't think it's like there was an energy here of of them necessarily cheating. Cause a lot of you, it's not going to be a deal breaker, but you're going to get the truth about who this person is, how they behave. And we see the nine of pentacles energy in reverse. I do think this is going to take some work Aries to get on the same page or to heal this. 
let's see what we need to know about this person. I did see that you and this person are comfortable together. Clear messages, advice, and guidance. Family problems. Some of you, maybe they were hiding family problems, or maybe there could have also been like something that they were worried that their family or your family wouldn't accept them for. Okay, there could be religious differences. You two might come from very different backgrounds. I could see that with the world card. And someone may have fair or light features. Yeah, you two are definitely comfortable together and self-employed. So maybe some of you too, this person might be going through some financial hardship. They might be worried that friends and family won't accept you or won't accept them. For some of you, there has been some sort of third party interference, possibly with someone with uh, fair or light features. Let's see what this person wants you to know. Clear messages, advice, and guidance. What does this person want you to know? Patterns, yeah. I'm becoming self-aware and I've learned that what I've experienced again and again must come to an end. Yeah, I'm wondering if this person was just like really heavily influenced by their family. Maybe they come from like a strict religious background and maybe you two are different or it's a cultural background where they, you know, just weren't sure that you were going to be accepted by their friends and family or vice versa. Okay, forgiving myself. It will take time to come to terms with what I've created, but I'm moving forward in a positive new direction. This person definitely has regret and remorse, Aries. They feel like you're the best of the best, the alpha and the omega. I do think you're going to be disappointed here about this, what you'd find out. But for some reason, it doesn't feel like it's a deal breaker. Of course, you're going to have to let me know in the comment section if it is a deal breaker. And yeah, you're going to get an apology. I hurt you and also hurt myself in the process. Please forgive me. Yeah. May, and again, maybe this person just wasn't introducing you to friends and family or they, there was something they were evasive or avoiding or not honest with you about. Okay. Now, honesty is the cornerstone of any, any, you know, good relationship. So it's not something to take lightly, but you're going to have to let me know because I do feel for a lot of my Aries, it doesn't feel like a deal breaker. Their action towards you. We have the six of wands energy in reverse. Okay. This is in the next week. Yeah, you're going to find out this person's hurt and disappointed, but they're actually going to do the work. Okay, they're like, they're going to do the work. They're going to have that uncomfortable conversation with you, Aries, even if it might mean potentially losing you or a fight or an argument, but they do want to make it up to you with the justice card. They want to make it up to you with the justice card, but there's, there is some conflict here. And like I said, you guys are going to have to let me know what it might be. Let's see. Anything else we need to know? Anything else we need to know, please? Okay, let go of control. So allow the situation to unfold naturally. Some of my Aries, like you're allowing this person to come to you, to tell you the truth, to open up. Stay optimistic about your love life. So if you decide not to move forward with this person, have faith. Um, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And some of you, you're meant to stay optimistic about this connection. And we get express your love. And don't be afraid to speak up. This person is going to go ahead and make the romantic gest gesture. Gesture. Yeah. I, you're going to get a, it's going to be a, it's going to be a truthful conversation, Aries. Yeah. And love yourself first. So spirit saying at the bottom of the deck here, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So. You know, let them have it. Let them know how you're feeling about whatever this is they tell you. But I, I kind of like that advice there of like letting go of control issues, like allow them to come to you, allow them to tell you what they need to tell you. Um, because I do feel this person tends to be a little bit avoidant, like anxious avoidant, but they are going to come in and tell you the truth. So let me know what this truth is, Aries, and what you're going to do, do about it down below in the description box. Love and light, my lovely Aries. Take care.